Hi, how's it going? Welcome to the channel, and I am here for an album review for you guys. Now, I don't know about you guys, but all the albums that I was pretty much anticipating this year have already came out. Um, really, the last uh, anticipated album of mine was the new As I Lay Dying album, Shaped by Fire. And I was aware of, you know, some of the other stuff that would be coming out this fall, but the, the latest As I Lay Dying album was, like, really the like the last album this year that I was really looking forward to and you know everything that would pretty much come after was just pretty much extra for me um nothing that I'm too stoked for of course so all the extra stuff that's coming out this fall is basically just extra for me uh, nothing that I'm too stoked about but still interested to check out with that being said I am here going to be reviewing Insomnium's new album Heart Like a Grave now, I know I didn't talk about any of the singles prior to the album, but I really wanted to wait until uh, the full album came out. And so here we are. We have gotten the new Insomnium album, Heart Like a Grave, and I'm going to talk about it with you guys. Now, if you're new here, um, just know that, you know, in my album reviews, I typically don't go over every single song, but if there is a song that you would like to know my thoughts on, you can of course let me know down in the comments uh, about that song and I'll get back right to you. So yeah, um, I have the track listing here on my laptop so you know, so I remember the names of course. So yeah, now I don't know about you guys but I really liked uh, Insomnium's last album Winter's Gate and you know when I heard Insomnium was coming out with a new album you know I really didn't know what to expect like I was um, trying to think in my head like is the new album going to be any better than Winter's Gate um, because Winter's Gate seems like an album that's really hard to top in Insomnium's discography so you know I was like there's no way that they're going to top this album like how is that even possible because you know this is easily their best album so you know how are they going to do any better than this so in that way I kind of had doubts that the next Insomnium album would be better than Winter's Gate. And with this album, Heart Like a Grave, turns out my predictions were correct. Um, this album is n no, it's not as good as Winter's Gate. Um, that might be, I don't know how popular that opinion's going to be. Um, obviously, I just heard this record, and I'm not really sure how uh, this album is holding up for a lot of fans, but um, for me, Insomnium's uh, you know, th this album is not as good as Winter's Gate. Um, but that's not to say that it's a bad album. Um, I just think that it lacks a lot of things that Winter's Gate have, and even some other bands in Mellow Death, and in metal in general, pretty much. Um, so we got tracks like the opening track, Whale of the North. This is actually one of the best songs on the album, at least in my opinion. I really like the way it opens up uh, with this build-up. And at first, I thought it was going to just be like an intro to the album with like no vocals or anything. But when the vocals um, are present, I mean, the vocals go really hard in this song. And yeah, this is actually one of the better songs on this album. And I think it's actually uh, a really good Insomnium song. And then Veil Diction. This was one of the uh, first singles released for the album. I believe this was the first single. And... When I first heard it, I thought it was okay. Um, I wasn't really too mind-blown by it. To me, when I first listened to it, when it first came out as a single, I was like, yeah, this is good, but this is really just standard Insomnium. It's not really anything, you know, we haven't heard from the band before, pretty much. Um, and that's kind of my complaint with Insomnium as a band, and one of the reasons why I don't listen to them as much these days. Um, but yeah, uh, this song, it's not bad. But it's just pretty standard Insomnium, I think. Now, the song Never Last, I think, is actually a really good song. Um, it's heavy, and this is actually a song that reminds me of the album um, Above the Weeping World, which is actually one of their best albums, in my opinion. Um, this album feels kind of like a throwback to those days, and I like that uh, song for this reason. So, yeah, Never Last, it's a really good track, I think. And then uh, Pale Morning Star, this is easily my favorite of the singles. Uh, ever since I heard this song, I pretty much loved it ever since. 
And I would even go as far to say that this is one of Insomnium's best songs that they've ever done. I mean, this is a really good song. I really like the song structure that it has going for it with its calm moments, with its heavy moments, and it's pretty atmospheric in certain parts, uh, which is something that you generally get within, with Insomnium anyway. But yeah, I actually think that this song is really good. Um, and to be honest, there's actually some songs on this album that I just found very meh, such as The Offering. Um, this song, I don't know what it is, but this one just kind of bored me to tears a little bit. There was nothing really that special about it. Um, same could be said about um, uh, Twilight Trails. I feel like this song tries to be like this big epic song, and it just doesn't work in my opinion. And yeah, I don't know what to say about it. Uh, but one thing I will say is the closing track, or, you know, the closing track to the standard edition, not including the bonus tracks. Uh, Carolia, I believe it's called, uh, which is actually an instrumental song, and I actually didn't expect this to be an instrumental. It's like a little over seven minutes long, and, you know, I expected there to be some vocals in this song, but no, there's not. It's a full-on instrumental track. And I like the instrumentation. The guitar work is really outstanding. Kind of reminds me of uh, progressive metal a little bit within the guitar work of this uh, track. And I think it's a really good instrumental. I think it's actually uh, I think it's actually a suitable way to close the album. Um, so yeah, this album "Heart Like a Grave." Like I said, I don't think it's as good as their last album, "Winter's Gate." But like I said, that's not to say that this album is all bad. I still think it's a pretty good album. It's definitely not one of the best albums of the year, and I really didn't expect it to be. Um, I think this album is still pretty good, though, for what it is. But to me, this album just really seems like standard insomnium, and that's kind of what I went into this album, you know, going into with that mindset. You know, it's just going to be... It's. I feel like one of this album's biggest problems is it's. it feels like just another insomnium album. It doesn't really feel like, you know, they stepped outside of the box all that much, other than, you know, a few songs. Like I said, I really like the instrumental, um, Carolia. Uh, this is one that I actually felt like they tried something a little unique, I think. And, you know, um, this style, you know, this sort of atmospheric kind of, uh, metal, mellow death type stuff, um, isn't my thing these days either, so maybe that has something to do with it. I feel, I feel like if this album came out a couple of years ago... I probably would have appreciated it more, but I know that there's some other Insomnium fans that are kind of let down by this album and say that it, it's one of Insomnium's weakest albums. Um, I haven't, I don't think I've heard all of Insomnium's work. Uh, I've heard a good chunk of their albums, though. I've definitely heard the last couple of them before this album, so I have a good idea of their later stuff, but with this album, Heart Like a Grave, again, it's a good album, but... I still think Winter's Gate is the best album that the band had to offer. Um, I do appreciate that the, that the band went back to a regular style uh, trackless format too, instead of a 40 minute long song. Um, I'm kind of glad that they took that uh, route with this album, but it, it just didn't, I don't think it went off well, I think. I, I think Winter's Gate is still the more superior album. But, yeah, if I were to give this album a score, I'd honestly give it a 7.8 out of 10. It's a good album for what it is, but, again, one of my big problems with it, it's just standard insomnium, and I felt like a lot of songs on this album blended together way too easily. But other than that, it's a decent listen. You know, I think it's an album that gets the job done. Um, so that's kind of my take on Heart Like a Grave by Insomnium. I think it's a pretty good album. Uh, like I said, it's nowhere near one of my favorites of this year, but it's pretty good, I'd say. Um, it'll probably make the end of the year list too, but if I'm honest, it'll probably be closer to, to the bottom for me. But again, not saying much, still a pretty good album. If you're an Insomnium fan and you enjoy this album, I'm happy for you. Again, this album's pretty good for what it is, so I'm just going to stop the review now before I start rambling on, so... Let me know what you guys think of this record. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Take care.